Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from Bowtie Media, and today we've got a brand new reaction to a new Porter Robinson single, the fourth single from an upcoming record, Smile XD, and a week before the album is to be released, and it is called uh, Kitsune Maison, I want to say, Kitsune Maison Freestyle, I think that's how you pronounce it, I'm not 100% sure, doesn't really matter at this point, but a uh, really interesting release also to this point, because uh, the, as this, the day before this came out, uh, Porter had this like pop-up kind of fashion shop thing uh, of the same title as this track where you would go in and you get 60 seconds you're not allowed to say anything and you just get a piece of like old merch or this like designer clothing thing really cool idea from Porter Robinson I love it I think it's great it also ties in well with the release of this track and also I think this ended up being on a Thursday release rather than a Wednesday which is typical Porter stuff but all that is to say uh let's hop into this new track uh three minutes and 54 seconds uh Katsuni Maison freestyle uh typically when you have the uh like name freestyle on a track that implies rapping, but I'm very intrigued to see what we're gonna get here. So here we go. This is Katuni Maison Freestyle. Let's do it. Whoa, okay. Like a really distorted, like cheerleader melody almost. Wow, okay. Kitsune Maison, I think that's how you say it. Kitsune Maison Freestyle. New track from Porter, and this is without a doubt the most uh, unique of the four singles up to this point. Um, stylistically and uh, not narratively as much, but definitely sonically and tonally. This is just a... Yeah, it, okay, first of all, production-wise, um, this is just a very relaxed, more kind of purely kind of synth pop style track. This is a, a similar, or this is a style that we really haven't quite heard from Porter, this exact specific tone and, and subgenre of just a really laid back, nothing crazy, no big like drop elements, no big refrain or bridge elements. It's kind of just a, a pretty, just steady, easygoing track. Um, that is uh, cr quite fun. I, I really enjoyed it. I think it's great. Uh, narratively, from the first listen, I think it's a lot of Porter sort of exploring the idea of, um, you know how like you you put on something nice and you like feel more confident about yourself? I think the idea of trying to get to that state of mind without the need for the clothing is, is what I've sort of gathered here, where it's like Porter more or less saying like, hey, like, you can wear all this stuff and you can feel really good, but like it's in the end, like you can sell all that stuff and you don't really need it. It's a lot of like how you view yourself or self-confidence or yeah, just kind of 
it's a lot of self-imaging in this part specifically and it, especially in that interlude um where he kind of talks about like he got his teeth fixed and i regret it so much like in the moment you feel like this is this is oh i need this to feel a certain way or i need this to feel a certain way like this will make me feel better but like in the end it, it, that's not the thing that's going to change your um self-perception or a way that you view yourself or you think that others might view you and so um i think that's a lot of what this song is trying to portray and that is obviously in this title here katsuni my son which um i think is some like uh, I don't know what it is exactly. It, it's a fa oh yeah, fashion brand. Um, Mason Katsuni is a fashion brand. Okay, um, yeah, and so I, I think it's just the idea of. And I think this ties in really nicely with the thing that he did earlier today um, in the time of this recording of of how he kind of brought people into this studio space and you weren't allowed to talk or what you had 60 seconds, you didn't have any conversation. It was just he looked at you and saw what outfit, what style, what piece of clothing he thought best represented you or something like that or what what you, he thought would be best for a person. And and how that's very much like a you would go in and you would, I think, if you were to like have an open shop and meet Porter and all this kind of stuff, you would pick out something that you think is best for you. But I think the idea idea is now it's switch now it's this person of like oh hey porter's looking at you and going oh this is an identity this is something i actually see in you rather than something that you think of yourself and i think this will look great on you um just as an outsider and then you you get that piece of clothing article and you go hey even if there's something like that you typically wouldn't wear i feel like if you got that piece from porter you would be like oh my gosh this is like porter sees me this way and thinks that this is fantastic and thinks this is just for me and so i think it's a very fascinating um yeah i like almost social experiment of sorts i think it's brilliant i love what porter is doing um just with this whole album honestly uh, on social media wise and just everything but uh yeah i i think this is a very interesting track just narratively and and a lot of the idea that also so far this album has talked about the first four singles of it's a lot more personal it's a lot more it's a lot less of like a real story like worlds was this like story of this of earth sort of being nuked of some capacity and kind of talking to this ai and this like hum humanity versus ai kind of thing technology um and how the melding of those two come together and nurture was a lot about the inner struggles of him trying to replicate what worlds was um where this album so far kind of feels more like a mixtape of just random um thoughts and things that he feels like he needs to share in some capacity and, and i don't say mixtape in the sense i think it's um all over the place because obviously we don't have a track list up to this point we don't know what the flow of everything is but um it's a lot more like this is like real inner struggles of Porter going this is something that I'm really really struggling with or this is something that I think that more people need to hear in some capacity I think this is a great example of that um and the idea of taking this what you perceive of your own identity and being like no like this is this isn't what you need this isn't what you need it's it's all about um yeah just <laughs> of more self-confidence and I don't know if there's like a real like solution in this in this track that really talks about it um but just the idea of like hey like <laughs> you think that's gonna help fix it you think that new outfit you think those new teeth you think that bag um will fix it and it won't um so uh I think it's really fun I think it's great I I love the narrative here that Porter's going for again production wise it's a pretty simple track all things considered with so far we've got from the record and so uh yeah i think that's where i'll leave it there so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below of this track any and all thoughts i'd love to hear them but other than that i'm dakota from Bro Time media and i'll see you guys in another video